Welcome, welcome. I'm Mako, and today we're going to be playing Wilder Myth, a procedurally generated RPG storytelling game. Uh, it's very good. I have about 31 hours or so in it. I haven't played it for about seven, eight months or so, but I've put about 31 hours in. Um, game follows a uh, story of heroes, and it takes them from the very humble beginnings all the way through to their prime, old age, and all that. And you can even have characters that uh, show up in multiple campaigns, um, which is pretty cool. So, I have quite a few heroes uh, in my legacy. Uh, I even have gotten one all the way up to the highest tier of hero. Uh, he was in my first campaign, and, uh, you know, he's, he's had family, a couple different families, actually, because <laughs> I've used him in a lot, a lot of my games. However, in this playthrough, we're going to be doing um, all new characters, actually. Um, so... Uh, just had a patch that came out, I want to say, within a week of this recording. Um, but I was I was wanting to play this one. I, like I said, I really do enjoy this game. Uh, I find it to be quite quite fun. Uh, each campaign takes about, in from my remembering, takes about six hours to complete. So for the twenty-five dollar. Excuse me. Oh, and they added uh, a couple of other ones as well. And you can have completely randomly generated campaigns. But uh, we're going to start with this one and just kind of see how it goes. Okay. Uh, three chapter story that is geared towards new players face off against the Im implacable Gorgon leader, Ulstrix. Okay. I, of course, did play this one before. As I said, I have played the game quite a bit in the past. Uh, Storyteller Adventure, Trench Hero, Walking, <laughs> walking Lunch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, no returns, reloads. Okay, so they added this since last I played. Uh, kind of a hardcore mode. Interesting. Very well. Uh, we'll just go ahead and start. Ah, here we go. So let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, okay. So you can kind of control the different stuff for your characters. Uh, we have the uh, decisive loner, decisive hothead, leader, snark, decisive hothead. We kind of want to, you know, at least for our starting three, we will get other heroes as we play, but we kind of want them to sort of mesh well in their personalities a little bit, you know. We want it to be interesting. Uh. Yeah, aloof poet works. Doofish poet and a decisive peacemaker. Okay. Now I do remember magic works. Interestingly, in this uh, game, where it you affect nature and things on the map and cause those things to have stuff happen. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and get into it. So, depending on how long this takes, we might... Make, nope, never mind. No need to make a cut. <laughs> this book. It is a very beautiful game. I will say that as well. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. Live or die. What I've seen here could help someone else. Maybe they'll find the book and my bones. I hope so. Right then. Right. Then this is the beginning. 
here in our yonder country. Something in the woods is very strange. Concerned with idle questions and memories, a young man named Danden takes the seasonal road to the town of Wary Trails. How many times have I walked this old road? A nostalgic animal, the human, told me true to my nature that breeze is light that day. Birds are timid. In fact, the whole world is taking a breath, ready to leap in the sea. I'm there already, huh? Here's the hard part. Getting Lonora out of bed. She'll probably be setting up, blanket wrapped, staring out the window, gnawing a mouthful of old biscuit, telling me to consider the... to reckon with the... That smoke. Fluttering flames ro roost among the far-off rooftop rooftops. Ooh. Read the words, come on. <laughs> Danden hurries towards the town, thinking of Lenora, a young woman who he's known since boyhood. Okay, so now we get a choice. So it is a story-based, and you know, you have uh, turn-based combat and stuff like that. Watch me worry, and she's fine. She must have tried to cook breakfast again. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, there's no way she... Hmm. I think we'll go with the friendship route. Because that's just funny. She must have tried to cook breakfast again. <laughs> Lenora, you alright? I'll get you out. Just make a little noise. Here we go. So we have our first thing. So, of course, we have move, and then... I do believe this guy was our wizard. Um, so we have not quite yet entered combat, but we are on the map. We probably won't enter combat for this one. Of course, you know, we'll open the door. The house. The house is still standing. At least. Lenora! Wary Trails is in flames. Are you in there? Lenora! He doesn't know. Why is no one? The door unlocked. Lenora shoves it open. Hey, did you not smell the... I smell you. Get in here, you out. I'm going to try to make voices for them, but of course that may or may not work out well. We'll give it our best, though. Clam, your bow? Yeah, I'm going to shoot the fire from my window. That felt like the safest animal noises. Okay, actually, there's a monster in the garden. Is that okay? Thing in here isn't really an option. Right, so here, I've got some tools around. You're stronger than I am. You can swing something pretty good. I bet we can at least drive it off. Okay, so we got a pitchfork, pickaxe, and a frying pan. I think we'll go with the pitchfork. I'm pretty sure he's our future wizard. He can be killed, right? Just be ready when you open that door. Okay, so we do now have an enemy. Uh, we'll go ahead and get set. We'll wait. Open the door. Okay, we've seen it. I'm just out of range. We'll wait here, let them come to us. Melee up front. Wait. Okay. Of course you would. Ooh, nice. Got that crit off. 
Okay. Nora. Okay, oh, he's the warrior. Okay. Uh, so, as they level up, you get to choose their skills. The skills will level up and stuff. I think we'll take broad swipes just to get all that. So, and this lets us set up overwatches, so I do believe we'll take that one. So, a little bit of equipment. I knew it was going to be a lot of reading going in, so we we'll keep trying our best on it. <laughs> what kind of suffering did that poor beast endure? At least it's done. The creature's death is quiet, it seems to slip from life in a few stunned, hazy blinks. No spend a piece of the day getting the flames under control. The damage isn't as bad as it could have been. Towns folk emerge from the hiding to fight fires and clear debris. Some full of curiosity, others visibly haunted by what they've seen. We should go. Lin Yin is alone, which isn't necessarily worrying, but just... Anyway, a promise is a promise. Lin Yin? He's not... Uh, he's at that ruined tower by now. Probably talking to spiders or a ghost or something. Or another deer monster. Linyan will be waiting for us. But oh, what happened today <clears throat> could be happening everywhere, couldn't it? Something about that tower is just stuck in my mind. It's like when you get apple skin in your teeth. Mm, I can feel that analogy. It's unpleasant. Huh. Yeah. Anyway. I just think we should. We said we'd meet him. We should. The tower in the hills. You've been there? Yeah, once. Actually, looking at the tracks, they came and they go. That direction. Dandan and Lorana followed the pounded um, <clears throat> path of monsters' feet, hoping for the best and dreading every other possibility. So we get a choice now. Uh, just be breathing, so... Hmm, I think we'll go with friendship again and see what develops later on. Word, word this while passes between them, but the quiet only heightens their worry. You've known Linian longer than I have. He's pretty capable, I feel like. Yeah, Linwin's too polite sometimes, but he doesn't often disappoint me, you know? Weird things do tend to happen around him, but I'd say he's probably up there now. Figuring things out. Very well, very well. Okay. Now we're back out on the world map. So, uh, looks like our destination is here. And then you can send multiple people out on jobs and so forth, and you'll end up, uh, you can end up actually having multiple parties later on in the campaign when you've recruited enough people. So you can essentially either run like as one party, or you can legitimately just, uh, there's also a year timer, uh, you know, time passes and all that, but, you know, you can run as one party, you can basically have a whole company of mercenaries you know, adventures, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, I very, very much enjoyed the game. <laughs> the previous night, the tower where Lin Yin had arranged to meet Dandan and Lorana is a place he often used to escape as a boy. He knows its rooms and floors so well, he could survive being chased through them. Cause. And now I wait, I suppose. Dust gets deepened 
deep as rain puddles in here. Alive is alive. But I have a plan if that beast breaks through. Don't you know, beast? <laughs> it's trap one. I'm not good eating, anyways. <laughs> the picturesque old tower, perfect for a plot twist. Now it's little more than a strange nest of spiders, owls, and trysting others. But as the old will tell you, precious things go overlooked in a ruin. What lodges in the bones of failure is often the dream that drove it. That book. Why have I never... Easy there. I guess you're wondering why I'm talking to myself, huh, beast? I'm also wondering. Bends down to pull it loose. The book's heavier than its slender spine suggests. Elder. Look at all this. Full of strange stories. The folklore of folk long forgotten. Miracles of the ancients. It's wild nonsense. How a woodcutter can read the rings inside old trees to find the exact moments a grove began calling itself a forest. Chant of the soil. Lacks any satisfying action. It's told through the mind of a blind, deaf tea grower. His nose is so sharp he learns the song of the scented earth and so avoids slaying worms with his shovel. Just leave this one here. <clears throat> Real quick. The mage is unlocking, I suppose. Reaches last word of the final tale. A few blank pages are left. But something in him feels like it coming loose, but he can't tell exactly what. There's room in it for another story. Old. I'm stuck here. Right. Then this is the beginning. Here in our yandering country. He writes, words are ready. Romans have found in the fabric of everything and he's beginning to recognize them now. Some are just misgivings. They've crept through his body like forceless aches one wakes with. Others are more substantial. Now they seem lightning flame. Promise of thunder. Wild black woods where birds once fell. A hateful siren. Pain lights the middle of his head. Sides. Made it morning. Lowers his bleary eyes. The story lies before him in luminous script. Empty pages have sprouted behind it. Why do I feel powerful? Okay, so We'll take the staff. Good wizard needs a staff, right? <laughs> well, beast, it's time. I'm getting out of here. And right into another fight. A rager. Here he is revealed. So... We will interview with the rope, and then we'll use the rope to constrict. And we'll hit him once more. So, like I said, you use with objects in the area, and then depending on what the object is, cause different effects. We will interview. And it'll say there, um, in the tools area, it'll say what it can do. And we'll hit him with a barrage. Okay. Once again, we'll enter to the And splinter blast him. Oh, he blocked it. No. This 
should get him as long as it hits. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Unicorn Mystic. Uh, bonds with the earth and summons from seedling and silk of wondrous tree that can surround the enemies, okay? Compulsion uh, sounds nice. I'm gonna grab elements list because I know that works well. Um, especially since we're gonna need to use him as a Form of uh, you know DPS. Okay. More monsters roam the ruined halls and rattle the rotting furniture. Linwin moves quietly, sensing his way in the dark. Daylight lands on his wrist. Cool wind soothes his tired eyes. It's still the same world. He closes the tower door. Gentle. Make no noise. That was the mystic's art that I did. Right, tower? Where'd I get it from? Could it have just happened? Is it just one of those things? Things a man's born that might blossom in his life when he needs them? I suppose, wherever it's from, all I can do is have gratitude. Use it wisely. Then when? Of course, this means I've got some new responsibilities, suddenly. First, one is maybe to figure out my limits. Then when? You are right there? Hey, Then when? Something happened? Hmm. Yeah. Um, I forgot. You two were coming. I'm sorry, I just had the weirdest night and day, and Denden and I barely made it. Yeah. See that smoke on the horizon? That's from the town. Yeah, that's very trail. It burned? Oh, another monster. Things are different than they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've seen something but like this. Monster? Sure we have. We slay monsters. Okay, well, I do magic. Okay. And, of course, we will need to go on. We discover a new site. It's still under in the control, though. Click on the banner to save it. So we will need to take over the tile. But uh, I think this is a good spot to stop. Uh, I do believe we'll be doing multiple episodes uh, on this one. So um, thank you very much. Uh, I am going to try to keep them between 15 to 20 minutes long. Uh, this is a very verbose game. Uh, lots of words. I'm going to try to read as much of it as I can. Um, but we'll see how that goes. But thanks for joining us today. And have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye.